Crazy Canuck here. Welcome to board the crazy train again. Uh, just a little update on what I'm doing with the grow chamber. Uh, I got the Hidden Harvest grow light out of the um, container project so that I can reinstall it on this side since it was the winner and I pulled out all of the T5s. Got rid of them. So now just to have some light in here for growing whatever, uh, going to need something in its place. So I went on Amazon and I got these cheaper LEDs that I will install and uh, at least we'll have some kind of light. And the plan here is I'm going to seed various different plants um, such as uh, uh, you know brassicas something that comes up really quick because I want to get this experiment run and over uh, before I have to start uh, germinating seeds for the bedding plants for the greenhouse and for the garden so this is what I got planned so far uh, working on my heating system and I'll update it to you on that as as it progresses here shortly and I'll get some seed and I'll start seeding. Okay, so this is what I decided. Uh, I got some oil seed sunflower from a seed grower, I believe it was last year, and I got a really good deal because the germination was really poor on it. Um, just have to seed a little heavier. Uh, tillage radish, which is co pretty popular for breaking up hard pan and uh, you know doing cover crops, that kind of thing. So I got some of that, that's also known as daikon radish, and I'm sure you could use uh, the daikon radish the same as you use any kind of sprouts or, or microgreens. Uh, the beets are sugar beets that I got from a neighbor. So we're going to seed all three of these all together and just let them do what, what they're going to do and we're, we're going to check it along the way. They should come up fairly quickly, I hope. And uh, if not, then I'll be adapting uh, my growing strategy for the greenhouse stuff. And we'll get into that too. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got everything all seeded out here, nice and even. And then just take a, a mix of half peat moss and half of this uh, topsoil compost and just Evenly spread that on there. This will help give it a really good start. I find that just using straight peat moss, it does have a tendency to crust over and the plants have a hard time to emerge. So you just keep doing that. Get a nice even layer on there. And then we'll water it down with uh, some melted snow water and cover it with a piece of poly like this to help the germination process and it'll also help keep some heat in. And within a few days we should start seeing some results. So I'll get this all finished up and show you the end result and I'll be back. Alright, got it all watered down. and. Uh, covered up. I found some of this lightweight poly that I used to use when I was a contractor doing renovations. This is worked great for doing painting, for covering things and uh, masking things off. And it's nice and lightweight. So I decided to use that instead of the heavier stuff. So now this is ready to go for germination. So this will give me a couple three days to get the lights installed and get the heating system upgraded to where we're actually going to get some soil temperature. Uh, I'd really like to see the soil temperature maintained at 70 to 75 degrees, maybe even a little bit warmer, and uh, see what happens there. So one more short little uh, tidbit of information and uh, this video will be a wrap. Okay, I needed my uh, hidden harvest grow light, so I went and just got another cheap LED, used a little 
light fixture that I had laying around, a piece of plywood to screw it to, and an old extension cord to plug it in. And everything else remains the same. The same chain system for adjusting the height. Uh, so we'll see what this does. This is just a matter of keeping some light on things to, to keep them growing. Um, hate to abandon one project for another, so we'll see what happens here. So that's, that's the update for now. And uh, as usual, like if you like, subscribe if you haven't, and I also would like to welcome all the new subscribers, and thanks to Diamond over at Oppenheimer Ranch for the shout-outs. We belong to a really great community getting ready for the Grand Solar Minimum. And uh, pass the word, stay warm, stay safe, we'll talk to you soon.